we have Kubis Fissia, a mental strength coach that's going to take us through human interaction and hugging. Kubis, can you please tell me your thoughts about hugging and the connection between human beings lately in today's, in today's stages? I think it's very important, Francois. You know, we as human beings has lost our human connection. And because we're so rust in today's life and we're not present anymore. Mm. And so the human connection is about connecting with the other person and releasing serotonin so that we feel connected because we all wanted to be loved. So and what is serotonin? Serotonin is a, a happy feel drug that your brain automatically releases. Mm -hmm. And science has proved that you feel more loved and you feel more connected. We need that, Jared. Yeah, so one thing that I've always <laughs> wanted to know is how does hugging help with mental strength? Now, if I have to tell you my story, you know, my son was born and I'm a hemophiliac and it means that I don't have joints anymore. Both my ankles and elbows are affected. And so when I got to the hospital, I couldn't pick up my son. I couldn't even hold my son. Mm. And that meant, at the end of the day, when he was four years old, he drew this nice picture of our family. And he got to me and I had this big cross over me. And I asked him to explain and he said, Dad, you are dead to me. <gasps> And mm. something, and there was no human connection. Mm. And yeah. then I discovered what well, this is. There was no human connection for the four years. Yes. So yeah. you did to me. Yes. Emotional human Emotional. Connection. And the only thing that turned it around was something we call the fire hug. And the fire hug is just a way of connecting because we all love hugging, or most people mm. love hugging, but we hug in the wrong way. Mm. Okay. You know, we hug fast, and especially when men hug, they hug they like the, what tip. we call the bro hug, <laughs> or they do that. Mm. And sometimes we want to keep <laughs> our heart as far away as from the other person's mm. heart. Yes. Because mm. how many of us has been hurt in life? All of us. All of us. Yeah. All of us. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, so I have a three-step process of hugging someone. And the three-step process is first to make eye contact. Because I but don't do you have to look so deep into my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I will look at that. <laughs> no, do Francois, do Francois. Uh, He's already Francois, nervous. So yeah, we do get us, it, do us, do us, do us together okay. so we can feel you. So the first step is to make eye contact. Our eyes shows us is the windows of our soul. Mm. So it means also for the person in front of you that you are present. It, and I'd just, like you to, and yes. I'm, I'm welcoming you to do it. Yes. Is it? Is it yes. like a more of a welcoming yeah. look? Yes, more of a welcoming look. And you stay silent because we, as human beings, are so rushed. We didn't make human connection like that. Without speaking. Without speaking. The second step is to hug heart to heart. It's basically your head goes to the right and your heart's touch. There's science behind it called heart math. No, heart so. math, guys. Heart math, heart yes. math. So what, what is the heart. best way to hug? And the in the last way. step, the yes. last step is to breathe in together because oh. we're all the breathe same. Breathe into it. Okay. Breathe into it. Now, if you do it 20 seconds or longer, that is when the brain releases that serotonin and you feel connected and you feel loved. So uh, are you up for hugging today? Okay. So I think Corbis I mean, and we Francis call, we to work us. together and everything. Go <laughs> They're going to do it. They're going to do it and show the... Okay, okay this go. is serious now. Okay. I'm going okay. to hug. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the first step is eye contact. Mm -hmm. Heart to heart. Breathe. Francis, are you breathing? Um, oh, guys, it's comforting from here. Yeah, it feels good. It's very comforting. Wow. Are you going to hug? Shaking. Are you going to hug? He's a cry on this one. <laughs> spoken about today how does then this that's in front of us i mean you're a mental yeah. health uh, a strength coach where does this walking on glass this is glass this in? is legit glass yes yeah. well to show you that it's so real you pick glass. it up and yeah. show them you know yeah. so it is real glass so let mm. me you can knock together yeah knock okay. together so let's just drop yeah glass. Ah. Yeah, it's broke. It's glass. <laughs> so what is the point of all of this the point of this is actually to show us that we need to be present in life mm. You know, we all sometimes so focus about tomorrow, but yeah. tomorrow hasn't happened yet. Mm. You know, what we do today determines yeah. our tomorrow. And so this teaches us to be present. And the second thing is when you walk over this, there's going to be someone on the side holding their arm. And that teaches yeah. us we are to not trust. alone. Is it about trust? It's about trust. It's it, saying you've got me. You've got mm. me. No matter where I'm walking in life, yes. if you are part of my life and you say you are here for me, are you really here? Can oh, I yeah. depend on you? Yeah. yeah. But it also okay. teaches the person walking that you can reach out, that there will be people that will be willing to support you on your journey. Even when you least expect it. Uh, yes. Mm. And when you need it the most. And while you're walking, just before you get off, you will lift your foot so that there will be someone that will serve you on this journey. And it also reminds us that on our journey, we are not alone. There will always be people serving us mm. to our success.
So I'm going to take off your shoes, yes, Sofla. Yes, 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 yes. Mm. At least I can get to touch pretty shoes. Do you like my shoes? <laughs> yes, I do. I can tell you for free, when we invited Clovis here, I didn't think that we'd be getting into walking on glass. I was like, they bring us a mental strength coach. He's going to tell us how connect. to channel our thoughts to get things that we want. So yeah. I'd like to make an announcement to my children. I love you very much. <laughs> I've always loved you. Mommy loves you to my husband. You're the best husband ever. Okay. Thank you. I made Thank a this. So the safety is <laughs> secure. So, Kobus, walk us through this. Okay. This is not a joke. So, it's I'm important that you stand next to her. Are okay? you not scared? That your hand is like that, yes. And then... So I operate you... on face. Yes. I do not see what's going to happen. I don't know if I'm going to get cut, that's, number one. That's fear. I don't know if mm. it's going to stab me. My whole body weight is going to go onto the glass. But I operate on faith solely. Okay, that's th all thanks I for the speech, Mrs. Thank you. I think I'm more nervous than you are. Okay, but, okay so let's go. Oh my god, I can't, I can't, I can't look at this. Okay. I'm sorry, I can't watch. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't watch. <laughs> so I was supposed to actually be doing what France was doing and holding a hand as my girl. But I can't. <laughs> I can't even look okay, at this. Okay, there's the first step. <sighs> Second step. And you can hear the glass oh crackle. Oh my gosh. You? you can hear it, yeah. Sophie. It just shows you that it is real glass. Tell the truth if you hurt. Third step. It's real glass, guys. I'm so Jared. shook. Okay, lift up your foot, Sophie. So Jared's just going to clean your feet and he's serving you Mansi? on this journey. Hey, baby. You stand by to get me at the end. Oh, my God. Am I even... Okay, a big step up. I step. walked on glass. That was so hectic. That was stressful. Okay, <laughs> celebrate, Sophie. That was so hectic. <laughs> you did it. You can say you did wow. it. I walked on glass. I didn't go to the moon, but <laughs> yeah. I walked on glass. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh. That was absolutely amazing. Thank you very much for joining us, Scurvis. I've never pleasure. done anything like that before. I don't think I'll actually be one to do it. I'll be here to support people that want to do stuff like that. <laughs> we obviously need to go for an ad break right now so we can recover from all of the sieges now.